I got Logitech's new streamer light. Let's talk about that. What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we will be opening the all new Logitech Lytra Beam streaming light. Now, what's really cool about this light is it's the first light that Logitech has come out with dedicated to streamers. So it's a, supposed to allow the streamers to create content all day without so much light fatigue. So let's go take a look. This is the first time I'm unboxing it. Let's take a look. So this is the box that it comes in. Very nice, very clean, very orange and white. Um, when you get it, it's got a little sticker tab right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Fresh cut, see, just no, uh, no camera tricks. First cut. We take it, it opens up like this. Make a scene, lighter beam. And you have everything right here at the top. You got your instructions up here at the top. You have the light, you have the arm that it uh, that it has. Got a little bit of protective coating on it. I'm gonna move that out. And let's take a look at this light. Packed in there really good. So this light is a very unique design, very different from any other streamer light. This light's design is not like your panel lights like you would get with like the Elgato key lights or any other like LED board based key light. This light um, is actually a really nice just bar. It's like a bar light. Um, it might be hard to see in the video, but it does say Logi right here for Logitech. Uh, if we flip it over, we see one mounting port hole right here. Um, we see another mounting port hole right here. And then there's another mounting port hole uh, right here, right here at the end. On the back side, we can see that it is powered by USB-C. We do have kind of a little cable management piece here. That's that's really kind of neat. Help keep your uh, your area organized. We have five buttons. We have a power button, a plus minus button that adjusts the brightness, and we have a, a color temperature button. So we have you know warm, cool, which is really cool. And then we have uh, another button down here, which is the Bluetooth pairing button, which we'll get more into that here in a little bit. So let's take a look. Let's see what else comes in the box. That's the first. Those are the first two things. We'll take this orange piece out here. This middle orange piece contains. A five foot USB A to USB C cable. So, this is going to be your power cable, and it's also a data cable. And we'll get into that more here in a little bit because you can control you can control the light with the Logitech G Hub app either through Bluetooth on your computer, or if uh, that's just in case you don't have a long enough cable or you don't want to run a cable that long or you can run the cable, connect it directly into your PC and let Logitech Hub control it that way as well. So very, very unique, very, very versatile light. Being able to use it wirelessly away from your computer, that's kind of a game changer, especially for those people that have their PCs quite a distance away from their monitor or they wanna reduce the amount of cables going from their PC and they wanna keep a cleaner, a cleaner setup. Okay, now that we've taken out the cable, let's see what else we have in here. Wow, that is hefty. That's way heavier than I thought it was gonna be. And this is the base, this is Logitech's base. And it seems like a really solid, sturdy base. We have a piece down here at the bottom that uh, that holds the, that's gonna hold the screw in. So I believe this is the bottom side. So this is gonna be your top side. You have a few little grip plates here. You have this that can screw in. You have some cable management uh, area right here. So you, you can wrap that USB cable. If there's any excess USB cable, you can wrap that USB uh, cable in here and keep it nice and tight, and nice and clean. Very, very nice design on that. Like I said, this thing probably weighs, I don't know, two or three pounds, just the base alone. And man, this thing is like, it's chunky, it's, it's hefty. That's really nice. Um, and then that's it. So, as it shows on the instructions here, you can mount the light in any kind of configuration you want. You 
put the stand into the base and then you uh, put in the screw like that. Then you can mount the light however you want. It twists, the, the stand raises and lowers. You can turn it. Um, and again, cable management uh, parts all along the base and on the light itself. And again, cable management down here at the bottom. You can go download uh, the, the app that you need. It's logitech.com slash creators slash download. And it's USB 3.1 Gen 2. Again, th this is your brightness. The plus minus is your brightness. The sun and snowflake is your, your color temperature. And wham, bam, thank you, bam. Last but not least, you have your Bluetooth connection. There's, they have a QR code here that you can scan that sends you to logitech.com slash support slash Lytra Beam. And it, it'll help run you through that. We're going to take off this protective film. And we have the stand right here. We're going to put it in the side. It goes in just like that. And here on the bottom, we're going to screw this in. Very nice. Okay. We've got the base screwed in. And I'm gonna use it lengthwise, so I'm gonna screw it in just like this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something a little different because with my setup, I'm gonna extend this as high as it can go. Oh, wow, this might actually clear This is going to be nice. Let me drop this back down so it's in frame. Man, this is going to be crazy. Like, I'm going to put it in long ways. We'll adjust it once we get to the desk. But I just want to, I want to put this in just like that. And there we go. I mean, look how big it is compared to my face. This thing is about 14, 12 to 14 inches. I don't know the exact dimensions of it. Let's go ahead and take these protective plastic casings off or pieces off and yeah I mean the biggest thing is the unique mounting the unique ways you can mount it so we have that way uh, if you want to put it on your own mounting hardware uh, you can mount it like this So that it's like straight on like this or you can mount it vertically you can mount it vertically so you can mount it like this and make it really tall now I want to note something here as I was as I was mounting this up They were smart enough here to leave a gap so that it could go around. Not a lot of places think about the little ergonomic things like this. And this is a really nice kind of quality of life thing right there. Again, it's it's powered by USB C. USB -C. You can control it through uh, G Hub. The big thing, the big thing with the, this light being powered by USB C is you don't have to plug it into your computer. You can use a wall charger and it has to have seven amps or, or it doesn't, ideally you wanna have the, the wall charger to have seven amps. Uh, if the wall char charger doesn't have seven amps, the software is smart enough to say, hey, the power's only get, the light's only getting this much power. We're only gonna allow you to go up to this much brightness based on the power that the light is giving us. So the, the software is smart enough to be like, okay, you're using a five amp, charging uh, charger you're only gonna get like 60% of brightness so you don't overload the light or overload the adapter that's really smart by Logitech like this is probably one of the most innovative lights especially for streamers that's ever come out on the market let's go set this up and see how it looks but first let me talk to you about a gaming moment podcast 
A Gaming Moment is a gaming, streaming, and technology podcast that gives you the point of view of two streamers and tech enthusiasts that rant and rave over everything gaming and streaming related. Season 4 just kicked off, so if you're interested in listening to the podcast, there's plenty of content to binge. So be sure to visit podcast.agamingmoment.com or your favorite podcasting platform. So as I'm setting up the light, this gives me an opportunity to tell you a couple of features. The light does have a proprietary precision optics lens that has innovative geometry that pairs beautifully with the frameless diffuser to deliver soft, glare-free light without sharp edges, harsh shadows, hot spots, or fall off. The light uses Logitech's TrueSoft technology, which was created to illuminate your face with uncompromising accuracy to make sure your content is the best representation of you. It's measured by the color rendering index, which TrueSoft achieves best in class to produce cinema quality light that's daylight balanced and renders perfectly on camera. As I finished setting this up, there were a few questions that I had about this light coming into it because I wanted to move to a one light setup previously moving from a two light setup and I was really curious to see if this light was going to light me evenly enough as well as light the green screen in the background. I really wanted to utilize the lights cable management features but I did find it a little difficult to put the the cable in the cable management area at the bottom but it did leave me enough for slack and I was able to plug everything up really nicely. Plugged it into my hub Got it turned on, everything's good to go. Let's sit down and check it out. Now that we're here at the desktop, I've kind of done some finagling with the light. I've got it set up a different way than I showed on the back side when I was actually setting the light up. I initially had the light going across the top of my monitor. And the problem that was happening with that is um, my camera is actually situated right above my monitor. And it was getting a little bit of a glow from the diffuser on the light and uh, it just didn't look that good and it wasn't lighting my background properly as you can see I have a green screen right behind me that I use in my streams so what I did was I actually put it vertical and it actually lights me a little bit more evenly it doesn't shine directly in my face so it's a lot more comfortable for me to be able to play my games and everything without bright light going right in my eyeballs and it just feels a little bit better. I see everything like on the top of my desk a lot better as well. But let's go ahead and go into the Logitech G Hub and play with some of the settings. And let me go ahead and switch over real quick. So when you open up G Hub, you'll get a list of your Logitech devices. As you can see, I rock a G502 Hero mouse, but we also see the uh, the Lytra Beam, Lytra Beam, uh, tile right here it shows that it is connected through usb if you're going through bluetooth this will say bluetooth but i'm i'm doing it through usb you can rename it you can change some of the device settings um, when you first open this uh, you go through this little intro right here nice little clean animations nice little intro to uh, litra litra um, here you can see some of the really cool innovative ways that you can actually set it up they don't show the two light process, but just imagine this section here, mirroring that on the other side of the monitor and, and the, the possibilities that you could have for your lighting setup on your, on your desk. Uh, you can set it up with your Logitech G keys. I don't have a Logitech keyboard, but uh, if you do have a Logitech keyboard, you can set up macros for your Logitech Litra light so that uh, you can turn it on, off, and uh, you know, change the color temperature, the brightness, all, all with those G keys, which is really, really cool. And you can have different profiles for it. It's, it's really, really awesome. But now that we went through that, once you get through that, you'll end up at this setup right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my camera real quick. There we go. Now you can see by the illumination here that says that the light is on, the light is on, it's pointing right over me. Uh, I like my color temperature at about 5600K. And as you can see, the hub that I'm using does not put out seven amps of brightness or seven amps of power. So it does limit me on the amount of power that I can use on this. So I can only go up to 73% brightness, but I can easily adjust the brightness by dragging and, un and releasing the click. And the, 
the settings don't take effect until you actually release the click. So you can drag this up and down. And as you see, as I'm dragging this, nothing is changing on the light until I release the click. Now the light has dimmed down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it all the way back up. I do have to light this green screen behind me. So I like to have it as bright as I can. And then the temperature setting is right here. You can go cold all the way to 6,500 Kelvin. We can go super warm all the way down to 2700 Kelvin, which makes it super orange in my opinion, which is I'm not a fan of. Uh, I've learned that my preferred color temperature is right around 5600K. And I'm actually gonna switch it over to a gaming scene real quick. So let's see where that goes. So as we can see, this is kind of my Canon M50 blown up using the Canon EOS webcam utility software. So if the quality is not 100%, I do apologize guys, they only put it out, at, they put it out at a very low quality, but I have it stretched across this 1920 by 1080 frame that we have here. So this is what it looks like. It looks kind of dark back here, so it kind of worries me. I do have it turned up as high as I can possibly go. Let's go uh, take a look at what it would look like in my in-game setup. You're gonna see my overlays and stuff. Let's take a look, see us. All right, we're there. And I'm gonna enable my I'm gonna enable my filters. Right now I just have them disabled. So enable my chroma key filter and pop. What do you think? Look pretty good. I don't know. It's on a black background. Um, let's try opening up something like Overwatch. Okay, so we can see that there is a lot of shadowing. See like right here, um, over this shoulder, just anywhere I can cast a shadow, uh, that's, we're seeing that. So what I have over here, I have on my side a lamp. So I do have a lamp that I just turned on that I have covering that back trying to light this uh, green screen up behind me a little bit more what do you think I, now that I have it's still showing shadows like especially on the farther side of away from the lamp you do have some shadows so it doesn't light a hundred percent like I would want it to but it does it does a really really good job and I might play with the configuration on it a little bit more so now I've kind of readjusted it I'm still getting shadows on this side right here I don't without a secondary light filling in the back side right here I don't think that there's a way that we're going to be able to avoid that so I'm probably gonna put this back the way it was just because I liked I liked the aesthetic of it because the lights in front of me and it it's pushing in like right here there's gonna be more shadow behind me so you if you're using a green screen if you're using this with a green screen you are gonna need another light to kind of fill in that back area uh, there's just really no getting around it it's it, it would be really good to have two of these litra lights litra lights I don't know how you pronounce it but it would be good to have two of these litra lights one on either side of your monitor or in my case I have dual monitors so I'd have them I'd have it set up set up and spread out pretty well so it covers both sides of my face and hits both sides of the background and covers the green screen pretty evenly. But for one light, this does really, really well. Again, it's not even at 100% brightness, but it just makes better sense to have two lights. And again, the versatility with just the different angles that you can put this light at, the way it sits, it can sit, you know, long ways vertically over a monitor. It can sit like pretty much right on top of a monitor. Um, you can put it at an angle. You can stand it straight up. This is the most versatile light in, in, in forms of layout that I've seen come out for streamers. And you should pick one up. And if you if you do want to pick one up, I have a link down in the description below. It is an affiliate link. It helps out the channel. And I really appreciate if you go click on it. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the content in this video, leave me a like, send a comment, put an emoji in the, in the comment section if you don't want to write out a comment. Um, let me know how I did, uh, show your ple your pleasure, your displeasure, things like that. I love, I love interacting with everybody that comments on the videos and I usually try to answer those comments in a timely manner. And if you haven't already, again, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, 
and we'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to buy this light it's awesome again link in the description down below and we'll see you in the next video guys bye